In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use the vignette filter inside of the GIMP. The vignette filter is found in the Filters tab under the Light and Shadow group. You can control the um, options for this either by using sliders, typing numbers in, or using the on canvas controls. And the way you use the on canvas controls, which is how I generally do it, is you can move the center part. The center part has no effect from the vignette filter. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the size of the center part. You can, and that is called softness. So when I move this, it changes the softness setting over here. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit by going to a smaller size. You can control the radius, which is the uh, point at which everything goes to the, the color chosen, black in this case. Um, by moving this outer circle, which is yellow on the screen, or typing in a radius value. The other um, adjustment here is called gamma, and that is basically the fall off between when you have it close in, it starts to apply the vignette at an earlier point. When you move it out, it applies it a little farther away from that central area. Um, proportion changes it from a circle to an ellipse or if you're using a different shape and the vignette can have several shapes. They have a square vignette, a diamond shaped a horizontal and a vertical. Um, so you can choose the circle sort of a traditional way, but you can choose what works best for your image. Um, if you want to squeeze, squeeze means Again, it's, it's how, how skinny or fat the, the central area is, or the whole vignette is, to be more accurate. Um, the center, as you can see when I shift it around, the center XY changes. Um, and then the rotation, you can type in a rotation, but you can also just put your mouse over here and rotate the, the shape right like this. So those are the basic controls and you can, it's very easy to use these. Um, you can change the color. You could make this, um, one nice thing you can sometimes do if you're interested is um, actually use this eyedropper to choose a color from inside the picture. So you can add a, a shading that matches your image. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit in a moment about how you can use this as a layer mask to apply more than just the color effect. So for here, um, I'm going to cancel uh, because personally, I like to do the vignette. You can do it on the in images layer, but you can also create a less um, destructive method is to use a transparent layer and apply the vignette just to the transparent layer. So there's just kind of a quick demonstration of how you might apply a pretty light vignette to an image. Um, when you say okay, 
it, it's, it's on the separate layer and you can turn it off and on again. Um, and that is, it's convenient. It does use a little more memory if you do it that way. So you have to trade off depending on how strong your computer is. Another way that I like to use the vignette filter is as a layer mask. So for example, I might want to um, create a dark edge, but, but have it be true to the image itself and maybe take a little bit of contrast off it. but only apply it around the outer part of the image. And the way I can do that is by adding a layer mask. And in this case, I want the, the layer mask to be black because I want the central part to be the original image. And I'm going to add a vignette directly to the layer mask and I'm going to add a white vignette. And if I add when where I add the white vignette, only the 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 effects of this image will only be where the image is white or shades of gray. And so when I apply this, it creates an outer edge that's a little darker and a little softer, but still true to the image. It helps draw the eye in, but it's a less dramatic way than with applying a dark vignette around the edges. And I often will do this for various pictures. You can also apply it to the central part. You can apply, take a black mask and uh, I will, um, Let's, let's demonstrate that a little bit. If I make a copy of this and put it above, I can take this mask off and to this layer, I can apply a white mask. And then when I apply a black vignette, The, the effects will show the lower layer, the black will show the layer below, and the places where it's white will show the layer above. And so that's a different way to apply it. And it allows you to apply specific effects to different portions of your photo. Um, this is sort of a, a broad strokes description of how to do it, but you can actually add a little blur to just one portion of your picture or some sharpening to just one portion of your picture, or maybe um, make the colors more dramatic, but only where the flower is. And so you can, you can refine your mask to just apply areas um, and because the vignette is gradiated, it applies it in a, a natural manner and it doesn't feel forced.